in this program i am going to explain how to load jdbc driver jdbc driver loading program so first of all in java there is a predefined class name called class in this one there is a method given that method name is a the method name is a for name method it is taking the class as an input class name as an input and here it is for name method is predefined method is a static method static method belongs to class it will load the driver not only the driver it will load any class at runtime but here it is if the class is not present right here it will throws an exception called class not found exception for name method is a static method you know how to call the static method using the class name so we can call it as class dot for name and what is the class you want to load that you have to pass if the class is present then it will load the class if the class is not present then it will throws an exception called class not found exception sir what is the relation between driver loading and this class loading driver is nothing but a class whenever we install whenever we install oracle right in the oracle folder right oracle driver class is available oracle driver class here driver loading is nothing but oracle driver class loading so where it is available so let me show you here whenever you install this is oracle folder oracle xe folder in that oracle folder there is a folder subfolder called app subfolder called app in that app folder oracle is there oracle in that oracle in that oracle here it is admin and that last one product is present in that product 11.2 is present in that 11.2 server in that server jdbc is present in that jdbc lib folder is present in that lib folder in the lib folder in the lib folder here ojdbc file ojdbc file jar file is present this is the jar file so jar file contains all the classes java classes now in this jar file in ojdbc file jar file our class is present what we are looking for the class is oracle driver class is present now we have to load now i am writing the program here it is in eclipse creating the new java project jdbc like for java console applications we are doing here it is a jdbc apps i am giving the project name just make it finish don't create any module jdbc apps in that in that create the new class creating the class any package name suppose i am giving the package name is online and the name load driver concept name i am giving as a class name load driver just click on finish now here execution starts with main method as it is a console based applications public static void main string args inside that i want to load so what is the driver name right here what is a driver name remember that it is present in a in a folder called jdbc oracle is a folder name nothing but package name in that package jdbc one sub package is there in that driver one package is there in that class is present that is called oracle driver this is a driver name if you want to store it in a variable called a driver or of course directly you can pass to the class dot for name because the class dot for name method is taking string class name you have to represent as a string with double quotes 
we are calling that class dot for name why we are calling using class name means because it is a static method so we are using that one class dot for name see that it is taking the driver variable automatically this driver but see here it is it is showing one error message unhandled exception class not found exception add throws declaration surrounded with a try catch yes i want to surrounded with a try catch i want to write try catch manually try where there is a chance of getting exception the code you have to place in the try block next in case exception occurred that we are handling using class not found exception just we collect that object into variable and we are giving the message here system dot our own message out dot print l this is exception no such driver or no such class to load our own message we are giving very clearly to the user this is how we are loading the driver this is a driver name nothing but class every word starts with capital letter o capital and d capital that is the naming convention in java next it is belongs to packages all these three packages packages naming convention all are in lower case so no capital letters for representing the packages now how to execute the code see look at this this is very very important when you run this application it is showing that output exception no such driver to load because we have written the class but from your eclipse program eclipse application how can you connect with the driver class simple so we need to configure that build path just right click on applications right click build path build path here it is configure build path option is there click on this configure build path third one libraries click on module path option module path add external jars click on add external jars then it will show if it is not showing go to the c drive oracle xe folder in that app folder in that oracle product 11.2.0 server and here it is jdbc folder lib o jdbc 5.jar so this is very hard to search very simple go to oracle xe and search for o jdbc o jdbc if you type then in that one where it is present it will search automatically it will search automatically in that see it will show that just click on that and open then automatically that o jdbc 5.jar file added here into the module path apply and close apply and close now see here along with the jre jre means what core java system library some referenced libraries also added see in this referenced libraries o jdbc 5.jar file added you can check this oracle package dot jdbc package dot driver package here inside this jar file here here whenever you extract then you can check all these things oracle dot jdbc in this one in this one the driver folder in this driver folder oracle driver class is present if you go down somewhere that oracle driver class is present this is the one oracle driver we are loading this driver driver to execute the jdbc applications in java this is the one like that we can check now just run your application run your application see here it is not giving any output because we are not giving any message that driver has loaded or not system dot out dot print l just giving one message if this message is executing successfully means what driver loaded successfully just run the java application run that application look at that driver loaded this is the way we are loading the driver hope you understood
please try and execute the program in your system thank you all